We can often make the job of multiplying fractions easier by using cancellation. Let's see how this works. Let's say we're asked to multiply the fractions 3 fifths times 4 ninths. First of all, we can check the fractions themselves to see if they can be simplified. 3 fifths is already in its simplest form. Also, the fraction 4 ninths is also in its simplest form. We cannot divide 4 and 9 by the same number other than 1. But what about the diagonal numbers? One diagonal pair of numbers is the 4 and the 5. 4 and 5 cannot be divided by the same number other than 1, so nothing can be cancelled between those two. Now we'll consider the other diagonal pair of numbers, the 3 and the 9. Recall that 3 and 9 are both divisible by 3. We'll draw a line through both the 3 and the 9 to cancel them. And we'll divide both of them by 3. 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1. So we'll write in a 1 by the crossed out 3. And 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3. So we'll write a 3 by the crossed out 9. Now we're left with 1 fifth times 4 thirds. When we multiply these two fractions, we can combine them into a single fraction. The 1 and the 4 are both in the numerator of the new fraction, and there's a multiplication sign between them. And the 5 and the 3 are both in the denominator of the new fraction, and there's also a multiplication sign between those. So this fraction is 1 times 4 over 5 times 3. We can multiply these two pairs to get a single fraction. In the numerator, we get 1 times 4 is equal to 4. And in the denominator, we have 5 times 3, which is equal to 15. So the final answer to this multiplication of fractions is the fraction 4 fifteenths. There's no whole number other than 1 that can divide into both 4 and 15. So this answer is in its simplest form, and we're finished this question. Here's another question. In a certain large city, it is found that 3 out of 100 people have red hair. Of the people with red hair, it is found that 4 out of 27 have blue eyes. The question we're asked is what fraction of the people in this city have both red hair and blue eyes? Because 3 out of 100 people have red hair, we can write the fraction 3 over 100 here. We're also told that 4 27ths of the people with red hair have blue eyes. So we'll write down 4 27ths of 3 one hundredths. When the word of is between two fractions, it means times. So the of can be replaced by a multiplication sign. So this means we're multiplying the fractions 4 27ths times 3 one hundredths. The fraction 4 27ths is already in its simplest form. And so is the fraction 3 one hundredths. Now let's check the diagonal numbers and see if we can do some cancelling and simplifying. When we look at 4 and 100, we realize that both of these can be divided by 4. So we'll cancel each of these numbers out and divide each of them by 4. 4 divided by 4 is equal to 1. So we'll write a 1 here. And 100 divided by 4 is equal to 25. So we'll write a 25 down here. Now we'll check the other two diagonal numbers and see if they can be cancelled and simplified. We realize that both 3 and 27 can be divided by 3. So we'll cancel these out and divide each of them by 3. 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1. So we'll write a 1 here by the crossed out 3. We'll also divide 27 by 3, which comes out to 9. So we'll write in a little 9 here by the crossed out 27. Now we have 1 and 1 in the numerator and 9 and 25 in the denominator. We can now write a new fraction which has 1 times 1 in the numerator and 9 times 25 in the denominator. Now we can multiply the pairs in the numerator and the denominator to give us a simpler fraction. In the numerator, 1 times 1 is equal to 1. 
and in the denominator, 9 times 25 is equal to 225. So our final answer is the fraction 1 over 225, or 1 225th. Therefore, the fraction of people in that city with both red hair and blue eyes is 1 225th. Or we could say that one out of every 225 people in that city have both red hair and blue eyes. Having both red hair and blue eyes is actually quite rare in the human population. It's great that we can cancel and simplify diagonal numbers and fractions before multiplying them. It makes multiplication of fractions a lot simpler.